This video is going to go over a basic setup for an electrosurgical generator and a smoke evacuator system and how to connect the two together. Firstly, we're looking at all of the components that come with your electrosurgical generator and then I'll go over the components that come with your smoke evacuator system. So looking at all the attachments here, we've got a couple of adapters. We've got your return electrode cable, the return electrode mat or kind of conductor. You've got your monopolar electrosurgical incision um, kind of attachments. So you might have a couple that come with your machine. We've got a couple here and then we've got our sealant, your vessel sealing component, which looks like a pair of scissors and you've got your foot pedals. So the yellow is for the cutting and the blue is for your sealing and your coagulation. You can either use the foot pedal or you can use the color coded buttons on the actual handpiece. I'll go over how to set up all of these kind of accessories and then how to attach them to the actual unit. At the back of the unit there are a couple of attachment areas. So you've got your um, plug for your foot switch, you've got a connect link, you've got a volume adjustment knob and you've got your power inlet. So a couple of attachments here. So this is the adapter that we're going to use to attach the vessel sealing component. Um, I'm going to open up the vessel sealing kind of attachment for you so you can have a look. We attach the end of this accessory to this adapter and we will attach that into the front of the unit when we're all set up. It just fits on like that. This second attachment is your cutting piece or your monopolar um, attachment. This is how they usually come. They are autoclavable. You might have an autoclavable removable tip or you may be able to autoclave the whole thing. Just check your um, instructions first. This is your negative electrode plate which is going to kind of conduct the cutting and the sealing instrument. So this this plate needs to be under the component of the patient that you are um, working on. I'll show you how to kind of set that up. So this is the attachment that attaches the plate to the unit. So you lift up this little clip and you're going to slide that tiny piece on the plate into there. So I'll show you how to do that. So just slip that, open the clip, slip that in and press the clip down and that is going to kind of clamp onto that plate. So that plate goes under the patient. The foot switch, so we can attach that into the back. So let's go ahead and attach the accessories to the front of the unit. So the vessel sealing attachment, I'm going to attach it. This goes on to the left hand side. You'll be able to tell which one fits into each because of the prongs that are on the attachments. So make sure that that is in there nice and snug. Now let's attach the monopolar cutting section. You can see the prongs on here are different. This one's going on into the one in the middle. And the return electrode, the plate, is going to attach into this one on the right hand side. So here it is all set up with all the attachments inserted. Don't forget to attach the foot pedal and your power PowerPoint as well. So that just inserts and screws in nice and tightly so it's not going to fall out at any stage. And this is just kind of your generic power plug point. So plug that in and make sure it's make sure it's not kind of in the way. It's you know, no one's going to trip over that. So here it is all set up, ready to go. Now your smoke evacuator, you've got your foot pedal, but because we're going to attach the two components, the smoke evac to the electric electrosurgical unit we don't need the foot pedal for this one if you were attaching you weren't attaching them you would need to plug that in we're going to use this instead which is a linkage connection cable which links the two together so we'll only have to use the one foot pedal which is attached to the electrosurgical unit so you've got a couple of component components here so you've got your suction tubing your filter tube you've got your um, wand you've got your filter and then that's this connection cable so the connection cable is going to attach right into the front here just in the front there I know that it looks a little bit funny now you how is this going to connect but it all does work out in the end I'll show you how to connect them all so attach your um, suction kind of wand to your tubing 
and then you've got your filter here so the black always goes to the black so the green will face outwards it does have these little nodules here that line up on the machine so making sure that they are all kind of lined up before you're inserting that nice and snug now you can attach your tubing onto the front of the filter the filter does need to re be replaced on the front of the smoke evacuation system it's got a percentage kind of dial when it's at 100 it means the filter is fine once it gets down to a zero percent this means the filter needs changing so you've got a couple of settings on here your basic on and off you've got uh, your time which means the time that the machine will automatically um, suction for and kind of evacuate that smoke and that smell away from your system. Uh, you've got your percentage of your power, so your volume, so you can attach that, that goes up to 100%. Um, so just adjusting that to, to kind of cater to the patient and the environment that you're working in. Uh, turbo just means it kind of ups the ante a little bit. And manual just means that it'll only work when you've got the foot, your foot on the foot pedal. You've got a tubing adapter at the back which can be attached to a scavenger. This is just where the excess air kind of comes to the back of the unit. And now we're going to look at attaching the two together. So this is how they should look when they're all set up. With all the attachments on, we've got our linkage cable on this smoke evacuator. You've got your filter, you've got your tubing sitting there, all ready to go. So let's go over a couple of the components of the electrosurgical unit first, just about using and turning on and the settings. So you've got your cutting option and you've got your coagulation option. The cutting option also has three other options within it. So you've got pure cut, you've got blend one and you've got blend two. You choose the select button to shuffle through which option that you're wanting to use for your patient. At the top of the unit you use the plus and minus buttons to up the volume so it goes up to 100%. With the coagulation um, program as well there is the three options there's spray, forced and vessel sealing. With the spray and forced you still use this cutting instrument from the um, monopular uh, attachment however if you're using the vessel sealing option you need to use the vessel sealing attachment so the scissor like instrument now we still need to attach these two units together so that we're only using the one foot pedal and not having to double up so grab your attachment and with the linkage cable that's attached to the evacuation system you just want to thread that through that is going to cause a conduction kind of uh, interaction that's going to tell your evacuation system to kick into gear and start working when you've got your foot pedal on the electrosurgical unit. If you're using your vessel sealing uh, attachment as well you need to also thread that cable through the linkage connection cable. If you aren't attaching these with that connection cable you would just need to make sure that both foot pedals are attached into the back of each unit separately. That means that one nurse is going to have to not only hold your suctioning tubing but also making sure that they're putting their foot on that foot pedal whilst you're doing the procedure. So what you can do if you're limited on space is actually place your smoke evacuation system on top of your electrosurgical unit. Also noting here that my patient, my pair, is on top of my electrode plate. Now the cool thing here is you can either use the foot switch which is colour coded which is great or you can just use the colour coded buttons on the attachment. So now, for example, if I press on one of the foot pedals to kick the electrosurgical and the evacuation system, if you can see where that number six is, that's the seconds that once you take your foot off the foot pedal that it is still going to continue to evacuate. So you can adjust that time, you can adjust it down or you can adjust it up. So you can put it down to four seconds, you, you can put it up to whatever your kind of, if you want it to be excessive. You can also adjust the vacuum kind of pressure. I'll show you a couple of um, examples, but you can see here if I've got my suction tubing hanging over the top, any kind of smoke that comes off my pair here when I'm cutting is going to be sucked up by the evacuation system. Your nurse can be holding this over the surgical kind of site whilst you're performing the procedure. If I wanted to adjust my settings here, you can adjust throughout. So 100 might have been too much. We can put it down to 40 um, and then proceed again. You can hear the vacuum kind of going up and down. That is just when I'm putting my foot on the foot pedal or on the button on the attachment and taking it off. If you're going through the settings and you choose coagulation and you want to get to your vessel sealing option, that beep 
is because I'm trying to use the wrong attachment. So that beep will occur because I'm trying to use my cutting when I should be using my scissors. So that will kind of tell you, okay, you've got the wrong settings set and you're gonna change it or you need, just need to change over and grab your correct attachment. There's that beep again. If I just wanted constant kind of suction from the VAC system, I would just press manual, this button here, and it just goes irregardless if I put my foot on the attachment handle or on the foot pedal. So you can keep that on, you can turn that off. You can also choose turbo here, which just kind of gives it a little bit more suction than original. So you can have both on at the same time if you're needing, and that is providing a constant suction, which is good if you are kind of not stopping with your electrosurgical unit. Here's a couple of examples with the cutting and the coagulation option. So the cutting's a little bit finer and the settings were down a little bit, whereas these thicker ones is the coagulation and the settings were up a little bit higher. So you can see the difference there. Obviously it's gonna be different on your patient compared to a pair. She said she met me on the tour.